Hi, in this video we're going to show you a few ways to check your startup items and also disable or enable them as needed. So that way if you have some programs that are set to run when Windows starts that you don't need to, uh, you can go ahead and turn those off and the same thing applies to services. So this process has been around for a while so you might be used to uh, using the MS config uh, tool to disable programs like you did in the past but then they kind of changed it to where it uses task manager for the uh, startup apps. So I'm going to show you both ways here. So first, let's do the old school method where we used to do the MS config. So it's still in a Windows 10 and 11 here. So system configuration app, that's what it stands for. So you have your startup tab here, but now in the newer versions of the system configuration app, it just says to open task manager and I'll take you there. Or if you just go right to task manager, let's close this. So from Windows 11, you could right-click the Start button to get the Task Manager. Windows 10, you could right-click the Taskbar to get the Task Manager. And then here you go to Startup, and you got the same thing. So now you could sort by status, you know, enabled. Then you could kind of see the startup impact. Some will give you uh, information about it, and some will say not measured. So we have eight things that are set to start with the computer. So these four are enabled, and these are disabled. So let's say we didn't want Microsoft Teams to be running because we're not going to use it. Just click on it and then just click on disable and now it's disabled. Simple as that. And another way to get to this list is from the uh, apps in the Windows settings. This will work for 10 or 11. If you go to your settings, apps, and then find startup, you'll have the same thing here, same list. And then you could just kind of turn them on and off as needed and it'll uh, apply next time you start the computer. So there's those two ways. So actually it's the same thing, just two ways to get to it. So another thing you could do from the uh, system configuration, which you can't do from the other section there, is uh, check your services. So there'll be a lot of services that start with Windows and you might not need them all running. So all I can say is before you disable anything, make sure you know what it is. So you don't disable something that's going to make your computer act funky if it's not set to run with the uh, computer when it starts up. So what I like to do is leave the Microsoft services alone by checking this box that says hide all Microsoft services. And now you can see we have all these non-Microsoft services that are set to start and you might not know what they are. So what I like to do is like let's say I don't know what this TPVC gateway service is. I'll go ahead and Google it and then if it's something I don't need I'll disable it. So let's say I don't want Dropbox to be running because I don't need it on this computer. Just uncheck the ones you don't need and just click on OK. And you'll get a message saying it's not going to take effect until you restart the computer. So you don't have to restart. You just exit without restarting. And then the next time you reboot, it'll uh, take effect and those services will not start up with your computer. So once again, just, you know, from the uh, Windows settings, apps, startup, right there, or from the task manager, startup tab, and then you could just disable what you want from there or enable ones if you found them as disabled. And then hopefully you could get your computer running a little faster when it doesn't have a bunch of stuff running in the background that you don't need to be running. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.